Um, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go right back to teen style. Please welcome to the stage, Kenise Mowgli! Hello, hello. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use this, I'll use this. Thank you so much. The other team would like you to believe that dogs and Nazis are the real point of conversation here. But if we're pulling in uh, manipulative tricks, let's get into it, okay? On March 16th, I had a pretty extensive surgery that would have put me out of touch for three weeks. And do you know what I wore the day after surgery? Was it sweats? No. I own mirrors, okay? I wasn't going to do that to myself because I believe in me. This is ridiculous. The benefits of style. We all know style. You've seen it. I'm wearing it at this moment. Style, a mode of fashion, as in dress, especially good or approved fashion, elegance, smartness. Do you want to be dumb? That's what the other side is suggesting that you are. Style, that's yes. me. Hmm, okay. Yes. Style, it's important for several reasons. One, it allows me to feel better than others, okay? And that's important. I may not have money. I may not have a successful career. But you know what? I dress better than others, and I get to pat myself on the back. It serves as an equalizer for the plain and ugly, okay? It's saying, look, this man, this right here, this gives us deliverance. This gives us ding dong motherfucking yes, okay? You, what is the major shift here? Is it thoughts and prayers? Is it some sad dog that went missing? No. It's style. And a choice was made. This is, the bef this is not me choosing a man at random off the internet and being mean. This is Queer Eye, and this changes man's life, okay? What do they do for these people? It's certainly not teach them how to cook. They just grill peaches or whatever. They get style, okay? Their homes go from a murder scene to a decor decoration at Home Depot. What are you talking about? Okay. Look, style, it makes it clear who I want to hang out with. These people, they're happy. They're smiling. It's a diverse group of multicultural people. You know who doesn't have style? These people. That... <laughs> That, if we're being manipulative, this is an indication. Of, it serves as a red flag, making it clear who I shouldn't sleep with. And we need that. That's what style serves to do, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I will say this. I, I recognize that we're on the other side. But, like, look. Okay, a lot of ladies are still fucking this guy when he takes his mask off, okay? The hat tells you the story as well, okay? You need to stop fucking men who look like this. Style is good, Okay? It does a lot for the world. It increases our self-confidence. It makes us understand our group memberships. But more importantly, sweats are bad, okay? And you know it in your heart. Do you know how you know it? Do you know? Because, Katie, we're friends. Yes. If I told you that I had been dressing well for the last week, what would you say to me? I mean, consistent with your Thank normal you. personality. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. That is a compliment, and it is a sly trick for you guys to know that I dress well all the time. Maron, Maron, Maron. If I were to say I have been wearing sweats for the last week, what would, what would you say to me? Exactly. It suggests, are you okay, all right? I did a Getty image search on depression outfit. If you wanted to see what it is, depression outfit. This is the Getty image layout. Sweats, 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 sweats. Sweats, a pile of sweats, he's on top of it. Look, this man's just leaning against a brick wall. We don't even see his face, but we know he is sad based on sweats alone, okay? This is what, are, is, this, is this the God you worship, ma'am? Okay, continue. All right, I, I, I wanted to see, okay, sweats, are they the thing that makes it so that we're giving the best impression? This person here, do not wear sweatpants unless your date is at the gym or a class. Um, I, I list several reasons. Sweats make it seem like you don't care. Sweats are standing between you and potential orgasms. It's very important. But if your first dates are at the gym, I don't think you deserve to find love. Okay? You don't. Don't ever do that. If you invite me, I will report you to the police. If it's not good enough for a date the first time you're meeting someone, the first time you're showing them who you really are, then it's not good enough for the world. I recognize that we all exist in our homes for a period of time, but you have to look at you. Do you want to fuck that? No. <laughs> the 
preoccupation with sweats corresponds with our loss of happiness and confidence as a country, okay? Understand me, understand me. Even before the pandemic started, 15% of our youth are having depressive episodes every year. That is something that has been on the rise since 2000, and I want to say 10. Do you know what else has been on the rise since 2010? Do you know? Streetwear. Streetwear fashion. I'm not saying, okay, Instagram, sure, that's part of it. <laughs> I, I will say I did buy the skirt based on an ad on Instagram. It's only served to make me happy, so I don't exactly know what you're referencing, but. <laughs> Net neutral? Look, I, 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 I'm not a statistician. A statistician? I'm not a scientist. I don't know if this is a, a correlational relationship or a causational relationship. But as children wear more and more supreme branded sweatshirts, they are becoming sadder, okay? <laughs> this is a national crisis that needs to be addressed now. We need to take stock in what's happening and make some changes. Throw a button-up shirt on a teenager. It will make them happier. For, I mean, at first they'll be like, I'm against it, but then when they recognize that they own shoulders, they will be pleased, okay? <laughs> This is an important thing. And granted, there are some moments when sweatpants are appropriate, okay? I own one pair of sweatpants because I need something to accidentally have my period in, okay? <laughs> because every month when I am taken unawares, I need something that I can ruin without consequence or care and then throw in the garbage. And sweatpants <laughs> are that. I think some people may mention uh, the recent rise of the gray sweatpants phenomenon. Are you guys familiar with the gray sweatpants phenomenon? Okay, I will explain for those of you who aren't on Instagram and therefore, I guess, happier according to the opposition. Um, I, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gray sweatpants are a trend among men where they wear them and you can see a faint or not so faint outline of their penis. And based on this, some women are saying the gray sweatpant is a thirst trap object. But this is simply us buying into the tools of our own oppression, okay? Gray sweatpants being allowed to be sexy on men, but being a sign of true depression and worthlessness on a woman, that is a tool of the patriarchy. <laughs> to be sexy, women have to go to a salon. We have to do things to our boobs, resurface them. I don't really know, but like, <laughs> all a man has to do is put on what he was already wearing. That is a tool of the patriarchy. If you buy into that, you are weak. Men should be doing more than just suggesting that they have a penis. They should be using it well. This is why style is better than sweats. I am Kenise Mobley. Vote for our team. Kenise Mobley, ladies and gentlemen.